All right. Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to this video. I'm looking forward to showing you uh, the walkthrough for week 45. Uh, what are the top 10 products by sales for each state? So let's get into it. Minimize myself here so we can see Tableau. There we go. Move me down here. Excellent. All right. So here is our dashboard, and as you can see, we've got a uh, we've got a color legend here looking at looking at profit, which is a diverging color palette, red to red to black. Uh, we've got a state map a uh, state map of every um, of the of the country, and then we've got this really cool, um, interesting thing that I saw a lot of uh, elections uh, election maps do, uh, which was to put out the very small, pop out the very small states in the upper northeastern uh, seaboard states that kind of popped them out into this uh, tiled look here. So I thought that was a really cool, uh, really cool thing to see. So I thought I'd add it to this one as well. So, um, all right, so how do we, so here's the deal. So when we hover on a state, uh, let me find, there we go. When we hover on a state, we're gonna see the top 10 products by sales. And um, and then we're gonna see a, uh, a table for each of those products to show the number of orders, the total number of sales, and the total profit, uh, which is still colored by the same color scale as before. Now, what's really interesting uh, that I really like this is that even when you hover on it, you can still see which products have negative numbers. So here is how I went about doing that. Um, so the first thing that we need to understand is since anytime you hear the words uh, top 10, what you need to be thinking about is the order of operations, uh, which is um, very, very powerful. Uh, if, you, if you know and learn the Tableau order of operations, a lot of your troubleshooting uh, will be a lot easier. So, uh, actually, what we need to do is we need to go to the. So this is just a this is just the state map. Uh, very very simple. Just did some formatting to remove basically everything uh, on the on the background map. So if we look at the map layers, we can see that I just did a 100% washout um, on the light map. So uh, and that's how you get a very clear map. All right. So then we have the tooltip, uh, which is um, which is where everything is here. So I'm um, gonna go ahead and drop my video smaller here. So it looks like that's as small as I can get. Um, but anyway, what we've got here, we've got basically I'm using measure names and measure values uh, with each product name. You can see that I have product name up in the filter card up here. If we click into there, all you can see is we're just doing a very simple top 10 uh, conditional formatting here or conditional filtering to be able to see the top 10 sales by uh, sum of sales. That's really all we're doing right there. Now, here's where the fun part comes in. Uh, besides these two, there are no other uh, filters happening right now. Now, the way that I did, the way that you're able to get um, a multiple color um, colors per legend uh, or colors per measure value. Uh, if you just put measure values on color uh, and then click uh, into the uh, into the into the extra menu, you can see you can um, you can get the uh, show measure value shelf. That's what you get over here, <clears throat> which means you get a measure, uh, a color legend for each measure. And then basically what I did for sum of sales and for sum of orders is I just I just blanketed that to a simple white. Um, I just did a custom, a custom color ramp uh, with just white. Uh, and then I set my starts and ends so that basically it doesn't look like any color when actually there is color on the shelf. And then what I did for the other is I set the sum of profit to our color ramp right here. And I made sure to set my zero uh, as the center point. So really simple. There's really nothing to this one. I did, you can see here, I did some extra formatting with the uh, with the grand total bar here. Uh, so we can take a look at that. Basically what you do is uh, if we look at format, 
if we look in the grand total down here, uh, you can see that I changed the um, anything that you, here's a little quick Tableau tip, anything that has this uh, bold um, title right here, that is actually what has been changed. So you can see alignment is not bold. That means it's the default. Anything that's bold here means I've means it has been changed. So you can see I changed the default font. Um, I changed the total alignment to the right. I chose to, and then I created a label um, that I just said top 10 total. Um, additionally, some other things that I did is I changed the uh, row divider. Um, I changed the row divider to more of a, a thicker black bar, uh, as well as uh, changed the um, changed the grand total grid line uh, as well. And then the last thing that I did for the top ten analysis, or for the top ten here, is if you go into analysis totals, total using, I set that to sum, um, so that if you just if you just choose automatic, what will end up happening is your um, your total orders, your total number of orders, because the total number of orders is account distinct. Uh, the automatic is would just be a total number of orders. Um, but remember, in the grand total, if the if there was an order for Canon. Uh, this Canon image, advanced copier, and a Cisco telepresence uh, within the same order, that would only show up as one order in the grand total when I really want, I want to know how many times that product was ordered. That's really what I'm doing. So all you had to do is go into analysis, totals, show total using, total all using, sum, and that is how you get to get that number there. Okay. So back into our map, we go in here, and you can just see I just did a, uh, I just inserted a vis and tooltip, filtering on all fields. And then if we go back to our tooltip, you'll notice that's where you get your tooltip action sets. And then I had to put those into context because what I want to do is I want to have the, I want to have the state filter before the top 10 products. Um, so if we look at a, uh, let's go here, let's go into, let's, okay. So as you can see, sets, conditional filters, top ends happen right here before, by default, before dimension filters. And in our vision tooltip, state is a dimension filter. So we're going to filter the top in and then we're going to filter the state, but that's not really what I want to do. So by taking your dimension filters and adding them in, adding them into context, dimension filters will happen first, context dimension filters will happen first, then we'll do my top 10 filtering. So that's a little bit of how you can manipulate and understand the uh, Tableau order of operations in order to do that. And I had to do it twice. There's two of them here because I have two sheets. Um, and this is just a very simple, what I chose to do is I did a set of Eastern seaboard states. I could have just filtered down um, a the regular state dimension field, but uh, that's neither here nor there. So that is how you can create a dashboard to find the top 10 states or the top 10 products by sales by state. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this uh, challenge. Thank you so much for participating and uh, be sure to check out all of our different challenges at uh, workout-wednesday.com. Thanks so much.